Right, so uh, this is our second week and uh, our agenda is posted here. Uh, you see that I made an update. Week two, we're going to start talking about objects, types, and values, and we also have to take a quick look at the assignment uh, three. Um, so we'll save that towards the uh, end of our discussion. Uh, assignment three is, is really uh, our first homework assignment. It's just uh, assignment three because sometimes it happens on the, f on the second week, sometimes on the third week. So number three is just basically associated with the week number and technically this is our first homework assignment. So this is week two and uh, generally speaking this corresponds to the topics uh, described in chapter three of the book. Okay, uh, so um, overall, uh, I would like to first cover some of the issues, uh, you know, uh, in our lecture notes, uh, but um, uh, I strongly recommend that you review links to these tutorials uh, that I posted for you. It's, uh, it's a good supplemental material. Like, like I said, every time you open another resource, you learn something new. And so just uh, read it just find time to read this um, and um, uh, let's start with uh, our presentation right so this is our presentation and um, in general we're going to discuss object types and values um, and uh, to begin let's uh, 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 as I already created this project today named the week two um, uh, it's already here. I will proceed to uh, view uh, Solution Explorer, right? And in Solution Explorer, just as we did before, uh, right click and say add the new item and create new uh, C++ uh, source file. I will again name it main. Okay, so I'm typing main and to its location here I'm adding source src. So when I add this uh, file um, uh, Let's uh, try to uh, So it's, it's opening the file um, oh, Actually, I misnamed it when I type in was typing it. It's not a problem. You can right-click here and say rename okay to fix the name so i will rename it to be uh, main.cpp to keep it clean um, and um, in this uh, file manager view you see that source uh, folder was created automatically right so i did not have to uh, you know say that i need to create it and this is where our um, source file is being placed okay so the source file is empty for now let's just try to uh, at this stage i really don't need the, to view my solution explorer i can always bring it back when i need to see it so i'll just uh, keep saying uh, keep typing typing what i need normally start with the main uh, function and its uh, basic implementation with the re a return statement and then uh, <clears throat> uh, let's uh, discuss um, uh, first um, facilities uh, that uh, we can use to display information and get information from the user so you remember that uh, last week we tried to download the uh, header from our uh, uh, textbook website uh, which was called std lib facilities but uh, in class i'll just use the uh, directly the header files that corresponds to the uh, right parts of the or corresponding parts of the uh, standard library so iostream brings in uh, brings in into the picture uh, sin character input device c out character output device c error uh, character er uh, error output device and also c log the logging device uh, these three are all output streams and they behave exactly the same and this is the input stream 
what it means to use a string for example if I want to say um, something like um, enter an integer Right, so I create a string of characters and I would like to print this on uh, the screen. Um, I can refer to C out, which is a st standard uh, output device, and um, type it like this. This is um, a stream insertion operator, and this operator basically says, give me the string on this side, on the uh, left hand side and give me the um, uh, 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 an, uh, an element uh, of input or, or I mean the, uh, uh, the text or uh, primitive data type or something to display. So it does recognize these um, uh, elements uh, uh, based on this uh, input uh, operator and uh, to make it uh, correct we also need to prefix it with uh, a standard uh, library namespace which is std and colon colon is essentially suggestion to the compiler that this object c out representing a standard output uh, stream is placed inside standard library namespace so it's just basically uh, something has this type of name okay so that looks like this okay so and to make it a complete uh, statement we need to enter a semicolon at the end I will also add a little space here to make it uh, you know look uh, better and then uh, I can create an integer variable uh, value I guess right value over here uh, it's not initialized with anything uh, rather to be able to populate it I'll say std sin and use the input uh, operator now notice that with character input uh, the uh, the the direction of the input it changes uh, like this and we'll store it in value so this is how you uh, can proceed with some very basic input and output and then I can say stdc out and say uh, uh, you entered uh, you entered uh, this and I can insert the value into this output stream and then I can read perhaps a new line character to move everything to the next line so let's see how this works so we're actually telling the user to you know to uh, to enter an integer uh, obtain the, in, in the integer from input uh, part of this input is also converting whatever they type from individual characters if I type you know 155 uh, that uh, should be converted to an integer which has internal storage format and then you can see that I should be able to uh, display it I will also make some adjustments here to maybe use like square brackets to highlight the content of this value right to decorate it with square brackets to to show it like this so um, I save my file normally I have a habit of pressing Control S to save uh, my work um, and then uh, the next step is to say build right so we're going to build this project uh, with the one source file here named main file and um, of course a, re a reminder that main is uh, uh, a function but it is also a main entry point into the program so it has special meaning uh, because it's like a by default uh, unless you want to change it the linker makes it a public entry point into our program so it's being built it says uh, everything succeeded so I try to say debug my typical choice is start without debugging just to run it and display it so it says enter an integer I will type 155 and hit enter and you see it says you entered 155 I'll just copy it from this window uh, to display uh, here as a 
you know, as an example of uh, the output. Again, I use multi-line common syntax like this. Now, between these two symbols with the forward slash asterisk, asterisk uh, forward slash, I can paste uh, whatever I want. To, and in general, you see that it's uh, it's the the view of what was happening uh, in the console window. <clears throat> 